Today we're going to get started on making our clay whistles. We're going to go through this process of making them. You'll need those two small popsicle sticks, the ones you made into a point, and the ones you have flat on the back side. That's going to help you make these clay whistles. There are directions posted on the team site for you to follow along with as well, some step-by-step -step directions if you need to. Hopefully this video will make it pretty easy for you to follow along with what we're creating and making. Let's get started. Right now we're going to talk about making our clay whistles. The amount of clay in this big piece is what I normally make a bench bowl. The smaller ones, what size you want to make your whistle. You can make it a little bit bigger as I add some clay there to it. You're going to pinch like you made the pinch bowls previously. Make sure you really thin out your walls. Do not let them get don't let them super thick. Make sure it has a nice dome shape to it. Kind of begin to work the bowl around and get the shape you need it to be. Now you're going to take your extra clay and you're going to flatten it out on the table. You can use your rolling pin that you have to help get a little bit flat. Just be careful you don't make it too thin. Just get it nice and evened out a little bit. It should still be about a quarter inch thick or eyeball as best you can. Then put the bowl back on top. Go trace around it with either a needle tool or your little barbecue skewer you made to a point. Going to cut out that little circle. Then you're going to score and slip those two pieces together so it'll be flat and curved. So use that fork to get in there. And really score that area and then score that flat piece. Then apply your slip, which is going to be at home, which is going to be vinegar. Once you've applied the, the vinegar, you're going to press the two pieces together, blend the seams on the outside. Make sure they're nice, well blended together. Once you've done that, you're moving on to making your mouthpiece. Take a little piece of clay, make it into a nice little cube shape, as we're going to do. You're going to make sure you attach the piece parallel to your piece, not to the top, not to the bottom, but nice and parallel, as it shows right here. If you don't do that, your whistle will not work correctly. So I'm going to apply some vinegar, press it together, begin to blend it. Make sure that part is blended on really well. That'll be your mouthpiece we're going to blow into. So make sure it's blended into the body of the piece. You can use one of your old popsicle sticks to help blend them together. Today we're going to talk about, or finish filing up on, how to get the whistle to work. It is, uh, you've got the mouthpiece on, you've got the dome shape, and you have the bottom piece on as well. we got to make sound come out of it. You'll be able to do this right away after you make your piece. You don't have to wait for it to be fired, anything like that. You'll pretty much know pretty quickly if, if it's going to work or not. So let's go through the process of doing it. Some things you're going to need to make this work. Are those popsicle sticks you've already made into little points, a barbecue skewer that's been sharpened to a point, or the chopsticks. Needle tool will work if you don't if you have one, you don't have to use that if you don't want to. And that's what we're gonna need to do. So let's get this process started. You have your piece. You take the pointy end of the stick and you're gonna push it in to the mouthpiece. You want to go just slightly above where you added that clay. Just that's why I push it in. I push it directly into the piece. Not down, not up, but directly in. So it looks like that. Then I take my other one, put it directly on top of the mouthpiece, directly on top. I then take my needle tool and I'm gonna draw two lines that match, almost like they're parallel with the stick that's inside of it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I turn my stick the other direction. I go where the mouthpiece has been put on, and I slowly come down just a little bit where it begins to make a half moon shape or come down a little bit past the bowl shape here and I draw two more lines. That gives me a perfect square that goes right over the mouthpiece right there. I do not want this square up here or down here. It should be like right about here. If it's got it down too low, it's not going to work. It's up too high, it's not going to work as well either. You've got to make sure this square is in the right place. Then I use that flat side of that popsicle stick I made, brace my hands like this. And I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. Have my little cube taken out. Then what I do is I brace my hand against 
the stick here like this. See how it's braced? I'm going to angle it. Like that. Then I'm going to check the airway. See how the airway is nice and clear? That's what I want to do. If it's, it's got a little something in there, I can take a stick, kind of go back in, and make sure there's nothing blocking it. Make sure my airway is clear this way, one more time, because you definitely don't want that to happen to you. And once you blow it, it should work right away, then you don't have your whistle, it's gonna work. Once you got your whistle working, you're gonna create and make it into something. Just make one whistle. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna make one of them into something. You have all week to kind of work on this. Normally if you're in class, it'd be two, but we're gonna do one for now. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna make it into something. A couple rules, things you can't make it into. You can, you cannot make it into a spider, an igloo, a rock, a, sh a seashell, or Patrick, or a little snail. Try to make something more creative on that, and even no turtles either. What else can you make? Go beyond just the shape you think you can hear. When you're working with the clay though and making it into something, you wanna keep popsicle stick in it. That way if you manipulate it or shape it, you can begin to work the piece a little bit better is what you want to have happen. And that's what we want to do. So you want to kind of make this into something. You can add clay onto it. Don't forget to score and slip with your uh, fork and your vinegar. And you add stuff onto it. You can carve things into it and everything else. But I want you to manipulate and make it not look like an igloo shape anymore. Try to change it up a little bit. See what else you can make it into. And that's what we're working on next week. If you get one done kind of early, you can go ahead and make another one. But really, I'm gonna see one by the end of this week. And we're gonna be making, and that's what we're making into this clay whistle. Let's see what you can do.